Well, it's a really big challenge to our economy. You know, 23,000 jobs in hospitality, we, we think are going to be uh, really challenged by that. Um, so we have to look at the, you know, have to look at that because it's real and it's an immediate uh, challenge for us. Uh, but what we also hope it means, and we have to trust the, the science um, at the moment with the national advisors, is that this is what's necessary to get the uh, virus under control. And what does it mean for Bristol, the fact that neighbouring authorities are in different tiers? How is that going to work out in practice? Well, we're part of the BNSSG footprint, the, the Bristol, um, South Gloucestershire and North Somerset. So it's just Baines that are separate um, to us. Um, so again, it's it's up to it's the way that we are being organised around the NHS footprints. So I guess there's a logic to that because that's that's the way the, the NHS is working. And part of the trigger for this will be pressure on national health service beds. And the fact that the hospitality industry is unable to unable to open up. I mean, that's a that's a bitter blow for Bristol's hospitality industry. It's a huge blow. And this comes back to, to the conversations we need governments actually be opening uh, up for us to have with them about the scale of the impact. We said that a month of lockdown was had about a £54 million pound impact on Bristol's economy, not just the local authority, but the economy um, as a whole. And local governments all over the, over the country will be saying to government, we know you're going to run your calculations about what we need, talk to us about what we need, and we will come back and present you with, with the, the scale of investment that's needed to keep businesses alive. Just two nights ago, I was on a call with Andy Burnham and Steve Rotherham uh, with Excluded UK. Uh, loads of businesses, large number of businesses from Bristol and the, the South West who were falling through the cracks. It's not just the businesses they were losing, they were fear of losing their, their, their savings, their, their, their pensions, uh, their mental health. Uh, and, and so we urgently need government to talk to us and come with us on this journey and, and help just how we keep businesses, jobs and livelihoods going. Thanks, Madam. I'm sure Amanda's probably got more questions.